Hey y'all, welcome back to my channel. For those of you who are new, my name is Mahogany and just a little disclaimer before we get started, I am not a chef nor do I aspire to be. I simply enjoy cooking for my husband and our boys. So we're gonna start off by making our yellow rice. The first thing I always like to do is prep my veggies. So for my yellow rice, we're using bell peppers and a little bit of yellow onion. I am not too big on bell peppers in my food at, at all, honestly but I like to use a little bit just for the flavor. I do think it has really good flavor, but you know, it's just not something I like in a huge amount. And like I said before, I'm not a chef, so please do not judge my cutting. We're just doing what we have to do to get by, you know? I will say that you do not have to use exactly what I use. You can always alter any of my recipes to your liking. So if you don't like bell peppers or onions, you can simply omit them or change it to something that you do like. Moving on to the rice, I use one cup of long grain white rice and I'm using a rice cooker y'all. So I clean my white rice and I'm adding in the veggies that we just chopped and then I'm going to go in with my seasonings. It's listed right here on the side. It doesn't matter what I'm cooking, I like to make sure I use flavor all throughout. So I'm going to go ahead and add one and a half cups of water and half a cup of chicken broth. That's some additional flavor. I'm going to give that a good mix and add in one tablespoon of butter. And then I'm going to put it in the rice cooker and let it do what it has to do. And we're going to move on to the next thing, which is our salmon. So salmon is something that we have in our house probably once a week. And so I like to cook my salmon in various ways, but this one I'm going to do in the pan. So I like to start by using half a lemon. And I'm just cutting those lemons into slices because we're going to use them in the end to garnish. And then we're also going to use whatever's left from that lemon to make some lemon juice because we're going to need that in our salmon as well. So I'm just squeezing out one tablespoon of lemon juice or as much as I can get out from that lemon. Once that's done, I'm going to go ahead and dice yellow onion. I love a lot of yellow onion and my salmon so I'm gonna make sure that I dice a nice amount of it like I said before you can always alter this to your liking so if you don't like a lot don't use a lot but I promise this adds so much additional flavor to that salmon now that we have that prep it's time to move on to seasoning our salmon now I will say this, you can do it in the opposite order. You can, you know, season your salmon so it can sit a little longer or you can cut your veggies. For me, it really doesn't matter because that salmon is going to take in a lot of the flavor anyway. So I'm using a little over a pound of fresh salmon. I love using fresh salmon. I feel like it's so much better than the frozen, but do what you wish. And then I'm going to go in with some oil just to help the seasonings adhere to the salmon. So I'm just massaging that in really, really well, giving it a nice coat. Now that we've completely coated each piece of our salmon, it's time to move on to my favorite part, which is the seasonings. On the screen is the exact amount of seasonings that I use. But remember, like I say throughout this, you can always alter it. All of my recipes that I try to come up with are always able to be altered for the most part, unless I state otherwise. Once you're seasoning your fish, you're gonna go in and really give it a good rub down. You wanna make sure each and every part of that fish is coated in some form of seasoning. The last thing you want to do is eat salmon without any flavor on it. I can assure you it probably does not taste as great as it could if you added in more seasoning. So now that that's been rubbed down, I'm going to cover it and move on over to the stove. So let's go ahead and get a pan on medium heat. And I'm going to add in about four tablespoons of butter. It seems like a lot, but we have a lot of onions. And so we're going to take those onions that we minced earlier and we're just going to give it a good mix. And I believe in seasoning in layers. So we're going to actually add in a pinch of salt. You want to make sure you season throughout, y'all. There's nothing wrong with a little salt as long as you aren't crazy about the salt. So we're going to give that a good mix and move our onions off to the side. Now we're ready to add in that salmon. Salmon cooks very, very fast. Please keep that in mind. When you're cooking it, you really don't want to walk away from the stove, if I'm being completely honest. So after about two to three minutes, we're going to give it a good flip. And as you can see, that color is gorgeous. That's exactly what we want. I'm going to add in that lemon juice we squeezed out earlier, along with a heaping one-fourth teaspoon of minced garlic. 
as soon as you add in that minced garlic you want to start basting your fish it's so important that you start immediately garlic tends to cook really fast and the last thing you want it to do is burn and honestly that salmon is done after about one to two minutes of being flipped to the other side so you're going to take it off the stove and cover it with the lid. That residual heat will finish cooking if that's what you're worrying about. So to another pan, we're going to add in a tablespoon of butter and we're going to cook some spinach. We're going to get some sauteed spinach going. And I know y'all see those memes where they put in a whole pound of spinach and they end up with two pieces. That's literally what happens. So on the screen are the seasonings that I use. And I also want to say that I did add in some chicken bouillon powder. I tasted my food, so if you take nothing else away from this, taste everything. The spinach was a little on the bitter side, and so I wanted to get rid of that taste. So that's what I did to change that up. But we're gonna let that cook down, and before you know it, dinner is done. This cooks in no time at all. I wanna say this took about 30 minutes, but look at that. If this is not a meal, I don't know what is. I hope you enjoyed and I'll see you tomorrow. Bye y'all.